Welcome to our new video. In our previous lesson, you will be able to describe the motion of an object in terms of distance and displacement. Distance and displacement answers the question how far did the object travel? And after determining how far the object moves, the next question in describing motion will be how fast did the object move? Now for today, I will help you understand how fast an object moves quantitatively through speed and velocity. But before we go further, allow me to share with you our learning target. First, we're going to differentiate speed and velocity. Then, we're going to describe motion in terms of constant and instantaneous speed or velocity. Third, we're going to solve problems involving constant speed and constant velocity. Now, how do you determine how fast the body or object has traveled? Let us have a scenario. One of the athletic events is 100 meter sprints. In this event, five runners run through a distance of 100 meters. Now, try to analyze the data. Who do you think will be the rank one? Or who do you think will be the rank five? If you have answered runner C as rank 1, runner A as rank 2, runner B as rank 3, runner D as rank 4, and runner E as rank 5, then you are correct. At the same distance traveled, runner C is the fastest because he has the shortest time and runner E is the slowest because he has the longest time of travel. Speed is defined as how fast an object is moving. Speed can also be thought as the rate at which an object covers distance. Like distance, speed is a scalar quantity because it only considers magnitude but not direction. Speed can be constant or instantaneous. Now what is the difference between constant speed and instantaneous speed? As an object moves, it often undergoes changes in speed. For example, while riding a car, you may notice that the speed of the car changes from time to time. The speed at any instant in time is called instantaneous speed. On the other hand, an average speed is the average of all the instantaneous speed. Are you familiar with a speedometer? A speedometer is a device used to measure the instantaneous speed of a vehicle. Now, the unit of speed is meter per second. But there are other units of speed that are used such as kilometer per hour or miles per hour. Now, if the car or any object was moving over equal distances in equal periods of time, it would have a constant speed. It is usually very difficult to maintain a constant speed, particularly in driving. Now, how do we calculate speed? Speed is operationally defined as distance divided by time. To calculate how fast an object is moving, this equation must be used. So the formula for speed is distance divided by time. Now if the given is distance and speed and we are looking for time, we can use this formula, distance divided by speed. Now if the given is, let's say, speed or time and the unknown is distance, we can use this formula which is speed multiplied by time. Again, the unit of speed can be meter per second, kilometer per hour, or miles per hour. Now, let us have a sample problem. Lloyd takes two hours to travel a distance of 40 kilometer to reach the house of his friend. Now, the question here is how fast he reached his friend's house. Now, in solving a problem, we must first identify the given. So we have here distance, which is 40 kilometer, and time, which is 2 hours. The unknown here is speed, since we are asking how fast he reached his friend's house. The formula for speed is distance divided by time. So for the solution, we have 40 kilometer divided by 2 hours. So the final answer is 20 kilometer per hour. Now, how does velocity differ from speed? Speed is defined as how fast an object is moving. 
Well, velocity is the rate at which an object changes its position. A person moving one step forward and one step backward is always returning to his original position. This motion does not result to a change in position, which means a zero velocity. If a person in motion wishes to maximize his velocity, then that person must make an effort to maximize the amount that he displays from his original position. Velocity is a vector quantity, and we all know that vector quantity has both magnitude and direction. For example, velocity is 10 meter per second east. So when describing the velocity of the object, one must keep track of direction. This is one of the essential difference between speed and velocity. Like speed, you can describe velocity as instantaneous or constant. The velocity at a specific moment is instantaneous velocity. A constant velocity is a velocity that does not change. It is a constant and does not vary with time. Now, how do we calculate velocity? Velocity is the rate at which an object changes its position. To calculate the velocity, we must use this equation. Velocity is equal to displacement divided by time. The arrow on top of the variable indicates that a quantity is a vector quantity. That means it has direction and magnitude. The unit of velocity is the same as the unit of speed. It can be meter per second, kilometer per hour, or miles per hour. If the given is displacement and velocity, and if you are looking for time, the formula will be displacement divided by velocity. And if the given is velocity and time, and if you are looking for displacement, the formula is velocity multiplied by time. Now let us have a sample problem. John needs to travel 90 km north along a straight highway to reach the next town. If it takes 3 hours for him to reach the next town, what do you think is his velocity? Again, in solving the problem, we need first to identify what is the given. The given here is 90 km north, which is the displacement, and 3 hours, which is the time. And the unknown here is velocity. And the formula for velocity is displacement divided by time. So therefore, the solution is 90 km north divided by 3 hours. And the final answer is 30 km per hour north. So that's it. See you in our next lesson. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you will be notified for more videos like this.